Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to prevent Microsoft Word from marking contractions as grammar mistakes. So when Word has a grammar error, it'll underline it in blue, and spelling errors are underlined in red, which you probably know. So if you have a lot of uh, contractions in your document, and if you don't know what contraction is, that's when they, it's like a shortened word, I guess you could say, so won't, instead of will not or don't, do not, you know, you, let's, let's not, you know, shorten with the apostrophe S on there. So if you tend to use that a lot and you have a lot of uh, these contractions in your document, then when you go to do the spelling and grammar check, you're going to spend a lot of time clicking ignore, 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 and, you know, you might not want to see all these potential, you know, mistakes here, even though they're not really mistakes. So there's a couple ways you could do that. So if you have one on your page there, you could highlight it. And then go to the editor button, which you normally go to do your checking. And then you want to go to the formality section here. And then scroll down to settings. And then just uncheck contractions from there. And another way, if you want to just do it from the regular settings, you could go to file and options. And then the uh, proofing section, and then find the uh, when correcting speller and grammar and word under this grammar and refinement section. Click on settings, and click on contractions, and click on OK, and then OK. And now you notice that they're not underlined anymore. And if you want to turn it back on, all you got to do is go back there and recheck that box, and you're good to go. So anyway, so pretty simple. So like I said, if you want to make your grammar checker a lot faster by turning off the contractions option. You can go ahead and do that from one of those areas and you'll be looking good. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.